Oh, I'm so excited. I can no longer hold back the excitement. Oh, my beautiful darling is going to see me in so long. It's been too long since we've been apart. And I know once I get through that door, they're going to be so happy to see me. Oh, I'm gonna not believe it. So, I don't want to give any warning. I just want to see a straight up reaction. Oh, deep breaths. Here we go. Hi, darling. It's me. Oh, I know. It's such a shock, isn't it? I bet you're so excited. Oh, no, you don't have to back away, dearie. It's okay. It's, it's me. Your wife. Remember? No, silly, you're not dreaming. This is real. I'm back. No, I, I'm not dead. Uh, what do you mean? I can't possibly be here. I am. Because I'm, I'm here with you. I was dead. But I, I'm back now. I did so many things and it put such an effort just to come and see you again. Isn't that wonderful? I know it's been such a long while, darling. Believe me, I know. But we don't have to worry about that. Because I'm here with you. Come give me a cuddle. It's been too long. I... Please, don't be scared. It is me, I promise you. Why don't we sit down together and have a little talk? You don't have to be frightened. I'm not a zombie or anything. There we go. Are you comfy? How about we settle this over a cup of tea? Yeah? I'll go put the kettle on. How long was I gone? I mean, it felt like an eternity to me, but surely it wasn't that long. I know I had to do all these things and skin rituals for my ancestors, but I don't have much time. If only I could stay here forever with my love, but I need to make this clear. Otherwise, it's for nothing, and the side effects. I did that for nothing. Mother. Wait. What's this? No. That's my sister. I remember her. Someone new. And they're kissing in the photo. Sorry, darling, I'm back. You might have to wait for your tea to cool down first, okay? <laughs> Ask me anything you want. I'm willing to talk. Yes. I did die. The night that... Those brutes stormed in our home. I remember you weren't home. You were working overtime. I was home alone and they ripped my engagement ring off my finger. And I put up a fight because it was a symbol of our love and I didn't want them to take it, so... I put up a fight and they got angry with me. And they hit me over the head. I can't quite remember what it was. It happened so fast, but I remember... I'm swinging something towards my head, and then everything just went black. And I just remember dying. I won't explain what death feels like to you. I won't do that. It's supposed to be a secret. How did I come back? Well, 
Remember, I always had an interest in witches. I always did. My ancestors were true witches. Dark witches. There was one lady, she was super powerful. But even in death, she still held her power. She said I was different, kind, light-hearted. And she told me that I should be angry and vengeful for my death. I told her I wasn't angry, but I just was filled with sorrow for my soul, not to be with the one I love. And when she told me there was a chance to come back to you, I had to take it, no matter what. After various struggles in the afterlife and doing errands for her, I finally had everything we needed. A ritual to bring me back for a short period of time to the living. She said though that it came with very bad side effects of darkness. That couldn't peel my heart. But she said I would know what to do once I was here. I'm still figuring it out now. <laughs> That's how I came back. Five years. It's really been five years. How did my mother take my death? Oh, I see. <laughs> Why are you pushing me away? I'm your fiance. We're supposed to get married. I know I said I was your wife, but I imagined it so since it never fully came true, but it could. We could get married. I wouldn't have to be a pretend wife anymore. Please don't push me away. I, I know it's a lot to take in, but I made this effort to come and see you, my love. Someone else? No. Surely not. It's only been five years. You can never moved on in five years. Your new wife? No. No, that's not possible. I wouldn't allow you to get married. Because I'm supposed to be your wife. No, 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 no. Those pictures at the wall, that's, that's some skank. That's not your true wife. What do you mean, my eyes look dark? My aura. My aura is fine, it's pure. It's not riddled with darkness. I'm not acting different to how I was. I'm not. But I don't have much time. There's something I need to do. Why don't you at least allow me to do one thing before I go back then and let you have some time with your wife? Lay down on the sofa with me for one last cuddle. <laughs> That's it. Let me just hold you like I used to do. Give you little kisses on your neck. Don't fight it. The tea I know you were stupid enough to drink was laced with a witch's magic from my ancestors. I had a feeling you might react like this, but I didn't want to believe it. So I waited to see the tea spell take its former magic. Had you accepted me, I would have let you lay peacefully. I had to sleep until I could figure something else, but... If I can't have you, then no one can. That skank is not your wife. I am your wife. So 
I wish you lay there paralyzed. Let me grab something to put you into a true slumber. In a place we'll be together forever. <laughs> I am not of any dark intentions. My soul has not been laced with the magic that was used to bring me here. Just take this pillow over your face and just give in, okay? Let it suffocate you and we'll be together in a new world. Me and you, okay? Don't fight. Stop thrashing. It's okay. You're going to wake up in a new world with me. Be it heaven or hell now. You'll get to meet my family truly. And we'll have our wedding in the afterlife. That's it. You're coming back with me. I won't kill your wife, I'll just let her live. Knowing you're gone so she knows what it feels like to be departed. Like I did. I'm not gonna let her be near you. No, 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 no. Stop thrashing. No more. Just let go. That's it. I'll see you in the afterlife.